Hey guys, in this lecture I'm going to show you how to create GIFs or GIFs depending on how you like to pronounce it with Canva. So let's go. So for doing this, I'm going to use a Facebook post format because I then want to post my GIF on Facebook. So the Facebook post is 1940 by 788. So I'm going to use this one or as we've seen in a previous lecture, we could double or triple the size of this post so the resolution will actually look better. So let's do this. Um, let's triple this resolution. Let me write this down on a little document right here. 940 by 788. I'm gonna triple this with my super calculator. Okay, so 940 times three, so that's 2820 by 788 times three. Sometimes I wish I was a math genius so I could do this without the calculator. But I'm not. Uh, <laughs> so that's the dimension that we are going to be using 2820 by 2364. So let's type this into the custom dimensions here. So 2820 by 2364. Let's double check. 2364, 2820. Perfect. Let's go. So uh, to create GIFs or GIFs, to be honest, I don't know how you pronounce that. Well, you have first to design your visuals as normal, right? And also I want to make it very clear since the beginning that creating GIFs is a Canva for work users feature only. So if you have the free version of Canva, you won't be able to export your graphic, your visual as a GIF or as an animated video. So it won't work for you, but maybe we can find some free alternative later online or you can maybe export or use these visuals into another software, which I don't want to name here, but it starts with a P and uh, ends with a shop, in order to create your GIF over there based on the Canva designs that you have created. But since this course is how to use Canva only to do it, the only way for this to work if you are a Canva for Work user, so a paid user, unfortunately, at this stage. So that being said, let me start and create a GIF and see how it goes. So let's create a GIF that will be promoting this uh, free course that I'm creating right now about the 10 most common questions about Canva. All right, so how to do this? Well, we are going to create a GIF made out of three images. One, two, three, perfect. And I'm going to be the one holding up like a billboard or something like that, that will give a message and then people can actually take action by clicking on a special link or something in the Facebook post. So let's see how we can do this. So first I'm going to use some of the visuals I have about myself. I've been using quite a lot. Uh, so these are photos of me without a background. So let's see. We could use something like this. So that's going to be me holding some kind of billboard. Okay, so going back to the elements, I'm going to use this grid, make this smaller. Okay, something like this. Looks decent. I'm going to position this behind my fingers, position backwards. So, yep, this looks good. Uh, so that's going to be my billboard. And of course, I want to add a visual inside here and I want to add a gradient. So typing in gradient. So I'm just going to create this GIF as if uh, I was going to be using it for my group. This is my kind of visual. Those of you following me in the group know that this is my style. Okay, so that's the billboard I'm holding and I need some text. So you can see that my text is very small because we've made a high resolution format right here. So I need a bigger text, something like this. I'm going to use a font that I like. Let's use Campton. All right, so let's do this. And the message will be, uh, you asked and I listened. You asked and I listened and we're going to get give this a capital L like this. You asked and I listened and I'm going to make this bigger. Something like this. 
and reduce the line height something like that put this on my billboard and why not create a little drop shadow to give this text a little bit more visibility you ask and I listened uh, okay copy this I'm going to make this white and push this back and then maybe I can try yes something like this like all caps and leave a little bit more distance between the letters maybe 10 and here I would give it one okay you asked and I listened okay so this is nice what I can do now is add a background to this so I had a couple of nice backgrounds here in my background or actually in the um, folders so you can access the folder section here if you are a canva for work user so this is another um, canva for work only feature uh, it's the possibility to create different folders I, I explained that further in the course in the canva master course but for now i'm just going to pick one of the templates one of the backgrounds that i have stored in my folder and the one that i'm going to use is this one so it has some kind of a swirly effect to it so i'm going to use this here reduce the opacity to maybe 25 yes and push this back to the back actually i want this really in the back okay so this is the first visual of the three okay i'm going to copy this the first thing i want to do is to rotate this by maybe 20 degrees okay this is good because i want to create this kind of rotation effect so i'm just stretching this so that it actually covers the whole screen like this and now i push it back to the back like this oh yeah and i forgot to give it some transparency so what was it I need to give it the same transparency 25 so same 25 let's see how this looks so you asked and i listened okay so that's the first message um maybe i changed the visual so i go back to my folder yeah i'm going to use this one getting rid of oops this one using this one going to use this let's move this for a little bit I'm going to move this to here for now and this one here. So you asked and I listened. Okay, and let's do something like this. I'm going to push this back. So this is actually in front of it. Okay, so what should be the message here? You asked and I listened. Okay, the 10 most frequently asked questions the 10 most frequently asked questions about canva and i will use canva like the canva logo oops maybe i can do something like i need it to be big because uh, the canva logo is going to come here so let's add this first elements going to canva and importing the canva logo this one needs to be smaller okay something like this okay let's say something like this and i need to make sure so this guy right here i'm going to lock it because it's in my way so now I can actually move all this. I'm trying to select all the text and the box so I can move, yes, perfect. All right, so uh, that's good. Now I just need to unlock my photo right here, making it a little bit smaller so that my finger is actually pointing correctly at this billboard 10 most frequently asked questions about canva okay so this is looking good in the last slide again i'm going to insert my background so i think it's yeah this one 
Okay, I'm gonna turn this slightly like this. Cover the whole screen. I hope this effect is going to look nice. If not, well, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, sometimes you have to try an error and see what works, what doesn't. Uh, okay, so you asked and I listened. 10 most frequently asked questions about Canva. All right, and then it would be announced like this, me optimistic, and I need to copy this box. Okay, I will make this very small so I can bring this box here. Okay, let me see, like this, my text. Copy this, text is here, and boom. And the last thing I say would be gathered in a free course. Gathered in a free course. That's pretty cool. Okay, let me see how to adjust this. Let me make this bigger. Oh, that's big, uh, 25 gathered in a free course. I think this is pretty good. Let me center this a little bit better like this, gathered in a free course. Maybe I can reduce the size of this one and really push it like this. Okay, so let me reduce the size of all this. Let me delete the fourth one. Oh yeah, something I need to do here is to reduce the transparency to 25 and we have something here, Houston. Let me see. So you asked and I listen. 10 most frequently asked questions about Canva. Instead of gathered, I would say answered. Answered in a free course. Yeah, that looks pretty dope. So let's go for this. Uh, let's see how we can export this into a GIF or into an animated video. So the way you do this, guys, is if you have Canva for work, just go to publish and then you will scroll down and see the animation button right here. So when you click this, you will have your animation here previewing, and then you have some kind of effect like animation style. You have fade, pan, block, rise, breathe, slide, or simple. So these are just different kinds of transition that you can add, and I don't want to be super fancy about this. Uh, let's see. Yes, this could be interesting. What about the rise? Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Breathe, slide, no. Let's go with simple. And then you have the the speed of the animation here. Can be slow. Let's, let's see fast if this thing is even turning. Not really. Okay, I will go for medium. And then you can export it in two different kinds of format. Movie, so MP4, or animated GIF. So I want animated GIF. That might be a little bit too fast. So I'll go for slow. Okay, animated GIF and I will download. All right, my design is ready. I'm going to go fetch it in the right folder and we are going to have a look at it. So here it is. I'm going to copy this to my desktop. Paste and here it is animation. I can rename this. So that's uh, GIF created with Canva. Right, let's go, let's see this. This looks pretty good. So you ask and I listen, 10 most frequently asked questions about Canva, answered in a free course. So this is it guys, this is how you use Canva for work. So the pro version of Canva, the paid version of Canva to create animated GIFs. You can now use this GIF in an email or on your Facebook page or whatever. What's the weight, how much, how heavy is this? 2.55 megabytes, so it's not very heavy. So if you upload this into Facebook, uh, you will have a nice GIF that you can use on your page, on your group, or on your personal profile. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, you need to be a Canva for work user in order to download in this format. And for the rest of you guys, there is one more lecture that I recommend that you follow because we are going to create landing pages.